eyeshadow primer potion. I'm using like a little tester like this which has four different ones and today I'm going to be using the one called Eden which is this one here. I'm just taking a little bit of that on my finger and I'm popping that all over the lid just to um, prime it and make the eyeshadow stick a lot better. Next I'm reaching for my Nika 2 palette which looks like that and I'm going to be using Foxy as a all over shadow on my lid. I'm using the Nika 2 palette brush that came with it. So I'm really, really patting that on there just to get the most dense colour onto my eyelid and just slowly and gradually building up the opaqueness. Next I'm going to reach for the shadow called Tease which is this one here and I am going to pop that in my crease. Next I'm reaching for another palette and the one I'm going to be using is the Sigma Brilliant and Spellbinding and the shadow that I'm going to be using is called Balmy and it's this one here which is a very matte and bronze shadow. So I'm just popping that on the fluffy end of my Naked 2 palette brush and I'm going to further exaggerate the crease with this and sort of blend it up into the brow bone. I'm taking the thin end of the um, Naked 2 palette brush and using the same shadow from the Sigma palette I'm going to pop that underneath my waterline. And then I'm going to take the Avon um, single eyeshadow, this is called White Pearl and it's just a pearly white shadow and I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner. I'm now going to return to my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to be using YDK which is this shimmery uh, bronze shadow right here and I'm going to be popping that in the crease ever so slightly just to add the um, look a little bit more shimmer and so it's not so dull and all matte. Next I'm taking my white eyeliner and this is by Sigma in shade Unclouded and I'm going to run that through my waterline just to brighten up the area a little bit. we can move on to the eyeliner and the one I'm going to be using today is by Miss Sporty. It looks like this and it's called Studio Lash The Meow Look. Now that my eyeliner is done I'm going to go back to my Naked 2 palette and I'm using the brown shade that I used previously and I'm going to use that to create a very thin um, shadow on my lower lash line to sort of imitate a shadow that would be created with um, the weight of my lashes as I did on this side as you can see it almost looks like my eyelashes are so heavy that they are making a shadow on my bottom lash line this was a very popular thing that Hollywood stars would do back in the day especially Marilyn Monroe and I think it's just a very cool trick Next we can move on to the eyelashes and the mascara that I'm going to be using today is the Measurable Difference Mascara. It's got two ends, it's got like a little fibre thing to make your lashes longer but I'm not going to be using that because I am planning on using false lashes. So I'm just popping a few coats of that on. I already have some mascara on my lashes from earlier but I'm just going to add a few more coats so they blend nicely with my false lashes. Next I'm going to pop my second eyelash on and the one that I'm using are the Cara Eyelashes 100% Human Hair. I'm not too sure where I got this from, but I'm sure you can Google it and find them if you like these ones. So I'm actually gonna go off camera and put these on because I'm not very good at putting these on at all, especially on camera, so I'll be right back. So I'm back and my eyelashes are on, and now we can move on to blush. And the blush I'm gonna be using is called Serene, and it's by Sigma. I've been using a lot of Sigma products in this video because I literally just rediscovered them. They were sitting in the bottom of my drawer for forever now, and yeah. So I am using this blush and it's a really gorgeous colour, very neutral but adds a nice sort of um, sheen to your cheeks. So I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush and I'm popping that on the apple of my cheek.
Next I'm going to use my Golden Dior highlighter which looks like this and I'm going to use a fan brush to sweep that on the highest point of my cheekbone. And now for the fun part, the lips, I'm going to be using this Body Shop lip liner and I feel like that's all I need for this look. I'm not going to be using any lipsticks. I really like how this liner looks just on its own so I'm just going to be using that. So that is all for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any more suggestions for makeups you'd like to see on my channel, then please pop them down below as always. I know I haven't been filming as many makeup looks as I'd like to recently, but I promise I will get better. As always, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! doing a monthly favourites. This is like April and mid-May sort of